good afternoon you guys so you guys today I am going to be doing something way 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 different and um what I'm about to do to be honest like this is not something I do on a regular basis but when I started doing DoorDash okay and they started sending me around to all these different restaurants I will admit that I started to enjoy the smells of the fast food restaurants again so your girl been zipping and zapping inside some of the fast food restaurants and so I'm gonna go around to all of my favorite fast food places well not really my favorite fast food places but I'm gonna go around to different fast food places it's gonna be You're five gonna or six it. it's gonna be five or six places in McDonald's is going to be one of my first stops. And so I'm not gonna show you guys right now what I'm gonna get, but I will show you guys later what is my favorite item from McDonald's. So let's go ahead and McDonald's. So I have my first order from Mickey D's. So my next stop is going to be Burger King. So I'll see you guys. Well, no, you won't see me. And I won't see you. Well, you'll see me and I won't see you. Let me stop. Yeah, I'm a door. Um, good afternoon. Can I get a meet? No, that's it. Alright, beautiful job, bro. Thank you. You guys, so I have my order from Burger King. Alright, so we are heading to Pizza Hut next. So here we go. Off to Pizza Hut. Okay, so now we are on our way to Dunkin' Donuts. And MMA is the is the organization. Okay. All right, you guys, Taco Bell's. All right, so now we're at Taco Bell's. I'm gonna go in here and place my order. All right, so as you see, I got my Taco Bell's. Now, disclaimer: I this what I ordered from Taco Bell's was not my what I was going there for. It was not the thing that I enjoyed the most but I did enjoy it when I used to eat Taco Bell's back in the day and so that is the thing that I've gotten and so now I'm off to Chipotle because I wanted to go to Boston Market but Boston Market does not have the apple what was that thing called it was an apple peach it was an apple cobbler and they don't have any more apple cobbler you guys I'm so freaking annoyed so, and Boston Market is right there. I really should have just checked, by the way. All right, so we're off to Chipotle. So we have the Chipotle. So in the supermarket, I go. I am back home and I have all of my goodies from all of the junk food places, basically. With one exception, like I said, well, not really one exception because the supermarket can have some junky stuff as well. And that is precisely, okay, what I have gotten. And I'm going to show you guys um, everything that I have gotten. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first place that I went to, which was McDonald's. And as I stated in the beginning, when I was doing, started doing DoorDash and 
basically a lot of the restaurants and things like that I would go to was pretty much, you know, fast food restaurants. And so, you know, sometimes you out on the road and you get a little hungry and you get a little thirsty. And this particular item for McDonald's is something that I'm sure a lot of us love. And this is the thing that I love the most for McDonald's. And this is probably like the only thing besides one other item that I would stop to McDonald's and purchase. And that is doo -doo 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 -doo, their sweet iced tea. Mm. Now, what I will say is I do recognize that McDonald's stole Wendy's iced tea from a long time ago. And then Wendy's changed their iced tea for whatever reason. I understand because I'm a type of person. If I see you with something that like I have orange, pretty much you can go ahead and have it. And so I think Wendy's allowed McDonald's to have it, but they did. That was the wrong move because. Mm. All right. So McDonald's sweet iced tea. Okay. Now the second place I went to was Burger King. And again, well, Burger King, truthfully, I did not pick, I did not um, pretty much fall in love with this item do, through DoorDash. There's a laundromat that is by this particular Burger King, and we would sometimes go to the Burger King and we would get items from Burger King. And so... At one point, there was another fast food restaurant that was king, queen, master, and everything of this particular item. But in my opinion now, I think that Burger King has stole the show and is still in the show. And maybe everyone do not agree, but trust me, there is no one messing around with at this moment. Da -da 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 -da. Burger King fries. No one is messing with Burger King fries in my opinion right now. I'm sorry. Even if they're, being that they're cold, they're still good. And now we already know there's some fast food places that you have to eat their fries in 0 0.5 seconds. Otherwise, you could build you a house with them fries. <laughs> okay? So, let's just be real. I ain't gonna call out no names, but y'all all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But, these spots are so freaking good. Yeah, I've been driving around this spot for like 45 minutes. And they still are freaking delicious. So, that is my second item from Burger King. Burger King french fries. Okay. Now, the third place that I went to, it kind of have, it kind of, um, it wasn't the place I was going to go to. I was going to go to, hold it. Okay, so the third place kind of got into the rotation um, because Pizza Hut was the place that I originally wanted to go to, but Pizza Hut no longer is selling the item that I love. And that item is their cheese its like cheese stick or cheese thing or whatever. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. They didn't have any when I went to order it. And so, Dunkin' Donuts, which is my favorite place on the planet, seriously, and what I went there for is not the thing that I love the most from them, but I discovered that they had these. And it is, it is a dupe from Starbucks. So, let's go ahead and see what this item is that has taken some of my heart. And that is the everything bagel. Now, mind you, 
they only had one of these. So you get two, they only had one. So they gave me a plane, but I really have grown to like these things. I really have. I mean, I like them from Starbucks, but because I get my drink, because I get my drinks from Dunkin' Donuts, it's just way more convenient to get this in my drink if I choose to buy these. So, that's it. Hmm? So, yeah. Okay, so now the fourth place that we went to was Taco Bell's. And again, Taco Bell's got into the rotation only because Boston Market did not have the apple gobbler. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I love the apple gobbler. I love the apple cobbler. Okay, so they didn't have an apple cobbler. So I was decided, okay, forget it. Let's just go to Taco Bell's. Because originally, it was in the rotation. Then I took it out the rotation because I didn't want to get too much food. But So I put it back in the rotation. And when I put it back in the rotation, it was disrespectful because I wanted the cheesy gordilla or something, the, the, the crisp, the thing. Y'all seen it last video. In one of my other videos just recently, I had it in there, like, four videos back and so they didn't have it and so like I explained to you guys I went with this next the first thing that I love because I actually love this thing more probably than the first thing I was gonna get but because that thing was new I figured I would get it and because I really enjoyed it and so and I've had plenty of these back in the day like I have not really eaten from Taco Bell's um much in the last probably 15 years but probably this is like my third time eating from there in that amount of time. And I don't know. I mean, not why. I don't know. I, all I know is that I really don't eat from these places. But let's just see what I got. All right. I'm rambling. So let's just see what I got. Okay. So what did I get from... Um, And what are these? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Maybe it's something that goes with it. Okay. The thing that I got is the chicken quesadilla. The chicken quesadilla. Now, you cannot go wrong ooh, with a chicken quesadilla. You really cannot. Like, I don't care what you do in life. You cannot go wrong with a chicken quesadilla. Huh? Yeah. It's still delicious. Mm, still as good as ever. And so, yeah. All right, you guys. So, the next item, the next place that I went to was Chipotle. And during DoorDash, Chipotle was one of the places that I delivered to, delivered, like I went to to deliver meals from the most. Like, people love Chipotle. I just want to say that. They absolutely love Chipotle. And so when I would be in Chipotle, I would see this item and I'm like, oh, well, that looks interesting. That looks like something I would really like. So I really want to try it. So finally, like two weeks ago, I finally tried this item. And within a two-week period, I've already had it four times. So, yeah, so I absolutely love it. And I will say that Dimitri, which is very shocking, he does not like it. Shocking. Very, very shocking. Okay. And Zayla, she does not like it, which it's not really shocking, but oh well. So let me show you guys the item that I have fallen in love with. Oh. The hell's going on in this bed? Uh, I think somebody made a mistake or something. I don't know, but all right. So the item that I have fallen in love with is the buckle kissel and chips. 
I know, shocking, right? Shocking, shocking. I know, shocking. It's just shocking. It's you know, shocking to me as well. But I must tell you that I absolutely love this white sauce. And I know a lot of people got a lot, a little antsy about ordering white sauce ever since that little nasty ass kid inside the freaking I mean like he did stuff inside the, the 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 I think it was some ranch sauce or something some type of white sauce and so nobody was buying white sauce but I hope and pray that I'm not getting no extra protein out of this freaking dip right here so that's what I'm gonna say but I love it I love it. That's what I can tell you is I love it. All right, you guys. So last but certainly not least, uh, this place is not, like I said, a fast food place, but it sells fast food. So I went to the supermarket because I'm like, okay, there were some items that I did not get and I really wanted. And so I remembered like, oh, you know, this supermarket has some really great items that I can definitely add to my meal repertoire. And so therefore, I went and I got me a almond danish. And I'm going to tell you, now I had two of these when I got in the car. Yeah, I had two. Oh, well, this was three for five, so I got me a brownie as well. It's because it's three for five. But I had two of these and I already ate one. So these things are so freaking delicious, okay, that, I mean, like, come on. And so almond danish, this is my dessert. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Those are my favorite meals from six different places. And those are my favorite meals right now. And two of them are substitutes, pretty much. But there's still something that I reach for when I go into these particular places. And I reach for more than I would reach for any other item on the menu. And so, yeah. But I will say that your girl, I'm getting ready to get it together together. Okay? Because I'll be 45 March 17th. And let me tell you, the way Taraji and uh, who else, Holly and all of them, where they tan up this older age, like, ain't nobody trying to, mm -mm, I ain't trying to let all this ruin my, you know, just ruin me. So this is just, you know, this is every once in a blue moon as anything that is not exactly the best for your health. It should be every once in a blue moon. That's drinking, smoking, overeating, and eating certain stuff once in a blue moon. So this is all once in a blue moon. So anyway, I'm not here to preach. I'm not a preacher. But I want you guys to be well. I want you guys to be healthy. I want us to all be on a journey of, you know, fabulousness. Let's just say that. Like, come on, we only have this body once. And I don't give a damn how many times your spirit come here Take care of the physical that it, that, it, that it resides in, okay? But anyway, you guys, I love you guys as always. I pray that on this third day of the new year, which is really just a carryover into whatever December 31st was, you know, every day is a journey. Every day, it's a new day. And so, yeah. Just focus on that. Every day is a new day. So you want to make sure that is a great new day. So you guys love you. Be safe. And you guys will see me again soon. I am listening to some of you all's requests. And I just want you guys to understand and to know that. I don't know where they get the money from. But I ain't got it. Okay, I ain't got it. So. <laughs>
You guys will see me soon. Mwah.